Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, just a quick housekeeping note. If you didn't get a sheet that looks, that says World Cafe Assignments at the top, um, you should have been handed one as you were on your way in. Um, if, I, if you didn't get a chance to do that, I also have some extra copies. Um, yes, it's, the, it's like the grid with like all the, your names in different colors. Um, I think some people might be leaving, so they might not have it. And it's just going to be your breakout assignment. So you've been pre-assigned to different tables. And you know the goal of that was to try to get you talking to people who weren't in your session previously or you know people who aren't necessarily of your same kind of area of practice. So we want to get a good mix of people. But eventually, you will end up um, in a group that we, we tried to break people into different groups where it seemed like they had a similar area of practice and also tried to get the numbers right. So hopefully, you know, if everybody could just stick to the group that you were assigned to, we did try to plan this. Like, I know it's tempting to sit with your friends, but we would really appreciate it. And I think that we'll get rich conversation out of it and, you know, get some good feedback. So anyway, thank you. Good morning. Um, we just have a couple of things we wanted to address, and then we'll get started with the rest of the day. Hi, everyone. I hope uh, you got some good rest and uh, that ideas came flowing to you in the shower. Um, just, a, just a couple of things. Uh, just to focus us, as, uh, as, as, as Kelly did at the end of yesterday, um, you can see this uh, high-tech Venn diagram over here. It's, you can think of it as a, a, a map of the mall. And, it, uh, you know, and not, you, know, you walk into the mall, you're not sure where. I'm not sure exactly where I am uh, on this picture. But that green hatched area, the intersection between LC NIH uh, Citizen Science and NIH uh, Research is where we want to go. That's the store that we're looking for. Uh, and, and so we're hoping to wind up, uh, uh, you know, especially in the, in the last three hours, uh, focusing on, on the intersection between uh, NIH Research, Citizen Science, and, and, and the ELSI issues that uh, need to be addressed to, um, to, to make sure that, that, you know, it goes off, you know, these things go off well as NIH embarks on them. And so uh, just as another reminder uh, and, and refocusing, uh, um, we thought we'd put up the emerging LC issues that uh, people uh, identified at the beginning of yesterday. Um, obligations from scientific community regarding co-creation, uh, making science go fast and obligations to engage people and the tension between those things. Um, making data accessible, uh, uh, making sure that there's equity in, in, in participation, um, uh, and that you know, underserved people uh, and people of different races, ethnicities, and socioeconomic status uh, are uh, incorporated and, 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 and um, uh, participate in citizen science. Um, looking at uh, uh, community and public-led examples. Um, and then some of the types of research, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what, what are the sort of responsibilities and, and rules and, you know, good practices, if we probably don't know best practices yet, that go with different types of, of citizen science research. Um, the uh, looking at long-term stewardship issues and uh, not just uh, project-based issues. Um, uh, looking at how, um, as people start to you know, mix their roles as Part, as you know, um, research participants and uh, researchers, and start to wear many hats. What their uh, responsibilities, obligations, and duties are. Um, uh, I think we're not so focused on you know the addictiveness of gaming, um, um, and then the sort of traditional LC issues that we need to make sure we translate in, in citizen science: protecting participants, data stewardship, respect for participants' interests and desires balancing uh, privacy and openness, uh, making sure everyone in the, in the citizen science project knows whose interests are being served, uh, um, making sure that there's independent re review and oversight, uh, um, uh, that benefits are shared, that people, citizen scientists, get things back, and that participants who aren't citizen scientists similarly benefit, um, uh, making sure that institutional responsibilities are, are met but don't overshadow studies. Uh, and making sure, again, that, you know, any conflicts of interest are clear. Um, and so finally, uh, so part of what we're still, what we're going to be working on today is 
identifying, prioritizing, putting finer points on what the issues are. And the second part of what we want to do is uh, have you guys help us identify what research can be done, what, what LC-related research can be done to help address those questions, start to develop tools, best practices, uh, uh, just frameworks for operation, governance ideas. Um, uh, some examples, Sarah Green put one up yesterday and noted, you know, that in PCORI they've sort of got natural experiments going in, in governance models and trying out different things. And, and one could certainly, and one could look and see how they work. Uh, uh, John did not put that typo in there. Uh, John, uh, John mentioned the, uh, you know, the idea of using sort of a video pledge by investigators and possibly citizen scientists to, you know, of practicing well. And, and one could certainly sort of test the effect of doing that or experiment with it. Uh, so, I mean, those are just examples of the kinds of things that we're hoping you guys can can cogitate on a little bit. And as you think about, you know, research, research questions that we, we might get involved in, should they be proscriptive? I mean, we've heard a lot, there's obviously no one size fits all, so maybe that's an easy question. Should they be maybe just descriptive? Uh, you know, this is what works well in my study or did not work well. Uh, do we need empirical data to inform any of these, uh, uh, of these uh, structures or tools? new normative standards, uh, and should we be developing tools, you know, suggestions, good practice, checklists, methods, anything you can think of. So that's a scattered way of trying to focus you, it's, but, uh, but hopefully that, yeah. that, that gets us going. <laughs> and just to note, so part of what we'll be doing in these World Cafe kind of exercises is asking you to think specifically on, you know, these types of questions which are related to the goals of the meeting. And, you know, we just, you know, I, I forgot to do this yesterday. We want to thank Kelly Edwards in particular for helping us, you know, do all these different engagement, trying to get everybody really involved and really discussing these. So, you know, thank you again, especially for, you know, helping us, especially with World Cafe, for example. We really think that it's been helpful to get people involved in even things like setting up the room so that people can talk to each other easily, like stuff like that. So we're very grateful for all her help on that. So. Anyway, so let's get going let's get with the going. day. Let's get, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> Sharon? Sharon Terry is going to lead our final sort of topical panel, which is sort of on the, the LC issues that come up once the research data collection, the study has been done, you know, what issues come up next uh, in citizen science. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you.